Hey there, my fellow lunatics, and welcome to Dakin's Madhouse. Okay, I need seven iron, golden wood. Iron blue. Nice. I think we can get a couple of rings and we can get a pet and then we'll be good to start doing some boss kills. I also need to build up some tin. Ooh, yeah, I need tin and I need wood. Lots of tin, lots of wood. There we go. Ah. Seem to be at the spawn point for Gorm. Well, that's fun. Which Gorm is that? <laughs> ah. Yeah, it's the slow one. Okay, cool. Okay. Iron. Gold. Sell that iron in real quick. Do I have any more gold? No. I need a jewelry workbench. Okay, planks. Oh my god, I need planks. Oh, which means I need, I think, an automation. Oh my god. Okay, okay. all right. So I need planks, which means I need to be able to make... Oh god, I don't remember if... The sawmill is on... I don't remember what the sawmill is on. Oh, that did damage to it. Ooh, can I hurt it with bombs? I wonder if that'll get it off my back for a while. I thought it was indestructible at first. Good to know. All right, so I need... I hope that's right. All right, I got an owl luck. So it's a oh, wow. If I was melee, that's pretty good with range too. All right, I can work with that. Okay, so I was wrong. It's not the automation table. It's not the bait table. Carpenter, I mean, let's give it a shot. Yeah, I didn't think so. Where the heck do you make the freaking planks from? What am I missing? I'm blind. Am I just blind? I've got to have it and I'm just blind. I've got to be blind. There it is. Electronics table, okay. Ah, uh, it needs power. No. Ah. Uh. Okay, let's try something a little crazy. Got some root seeds here. Four root seeds. Do I have any walls? I do have some walls. Let's get those roots growing. And then we can build, potentially build a wood farm. Maybe. We shall see, shall we? Rings, rings, rings. I need gold. 
Lots of gold. I do not have nearly enough gold. Okay. Um, how much tin do I have? Not nearly enough tin. Okay, fine. Uh, bum, 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 bum. I guess that means I should just do a boss. I'm not going to make any rings anytime soon. Okay, so let's see here. Um, let's bring Gorm. Let's bring Gorm all the way down here. Excellent. Pets level four. That's exactly what I wanted to see. Buffs owner with 5% movement speed. That's useful. Uh, but also that 3% range damage is also useful. Okay, I can get them all. We're going to start with the range damage for now. Okay, here we go. We got this boss right here. We're going to go ahead and kill him. So let's switch over to battle gear. Everything's good there. Pet is good. Let's eat some buff food. What's my buff food that I'm eating? I'm eating... that, meeting that, meeting that, let's do this, and you know what, I need well fed, so let's also do that, let's do this, oh man, I forgot how easy he is, ah, one down, okay, ooh, melting crystal ring, not going to base, he's too close, let's go, and let's just lure him away. One boss down. Now we need to kill real Gorm. I wonder if we can just kill real Gorm. Let's just go try to kill real Gorm. I was going to make a whole bunch of spike traps to make killing real Gorm easier, but... Yeah, screw it. Let's give it a shot, you know? There we go, real Gorm is down. All right, two down. One boss left to go. If I can get that one boss down before Gorm gets me, then I will have essentially completed my goal. Just gotta beat the Hive Mother. And unfortunately at the moment, I have no idea where the Hive Mother is. So we're gonna have to find her. But at least we can afford to buy a scanner. So that should make finding the Hive Mother a little bit easier. Okay. Gorm. Ooh, and I can buy recall idols now. That'll help. Glurch. Two down. Scanner, Hive Mother Scanner, all right. Let's find out where the Hive Mother is. All right, there she is. And we just gotta go kill the Hive Mother and we will be good to go.
Oh! Oh, so close! Oh! <sighs> Two bosses down. I got stuck by hive walls. I tried to go around the Gorm thing and <sighs> got caught in its hitbox. Man, I almost had it. I almost had it. That was awesome though. All right, well, thank you so much Lever for providing this really fun, really awesome mod. I had a lot of fun with it. Um, it definitely was uh, definitely something different, different way to play Core Keeper. It kept me on my toes the entire time. I, I never had a moment to just stop and relax and build. There was just so much tension the entire game. So, yeah, I liked it. I liked it a lot. Uh, thank you so much again. Uh, shout outs once again to Lever for the wonderful mod. And thank you guys for watching this amazing video. And if you enjoyed it, please hit that like button and subscribe, especially if you want to see more of this stuff. Be sure to leave a comment because Lever told me that he'd make more of these for me if it was popular. So let them know it's popular and show your appreciation. All right. Thanks so much, guys. And until next time, stay crazy.